What's up guys? So an art company called Arteza reached out to me recently and was interested in sending me some art supplies if I would give them a review. So I said, of course. Um, so I let them know what kind of art supplies I'd be interested in and they sent me a package. So I'm gonna open it, see what I got and test out the products that they sent me. Alright, so we got 48 pins, water-based ink pins. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look at that. So, I don't ever use pins, and I'm interested in kind of expanding what materials I use. So, this is really cool. I like the case that it came in, too. Um, let's see what else. Oh, my. A bunch of mixed media pads that I don't know if I asked for this, but I'm really happy that I have this because you can never have enough paper or sketchbooks. Oh wow. Ideal for wet and dry media. So this is really cool. And it has perforated edges so I can tear it out easily after I'm done painting or drawing or whatever I decide to do on them. So that's awesome. And they sent me two. Cool, I'm excited about that. And then, oh, this is cool. I really wanted some gouache and they sent me a huge package, 60 gouache colors. I love painting with gouache, but I haven't done it in a long time and like my set's like 10 years old. So I'm glad I got a whole new set. So yeah, I can start painting something. And let's open the gouache. Oh my goodness. Yes, this looks so pretty. They packaged everything so well. I love it. Oh my gosh. There's so much in here. Whoa. Yep. I'm excited. Also guys, I picked up some black paper that I wanted to try using with the gouache. So I'm probably going to start doing that right now. got a chance to work with the gouache set and honestly I really love it um it's great it's a great set I would definitely recommend the only bad thing about it is that the 
uh, the colors on the labels, the packaging, doesn't quite match um, the color that it actually is uh, when I put it in my tray. But that's common with a lot of art supplies. It'll be kind of off, which is why I always get a scrap paper and test out the colors before I put it on my piece that I'm working on. And this is my finished piece. I really love it and I'm excited about these paints. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's like cool metallic paints. But yeah, uh, I'll probably frame this one and try to find it a new home. All right, so here is the pin set. Whoa, oh, that's such a nice um, container that it came in. Look at that, wow. Wow, these look so pretty. Okay. And then, whoa, this is completely different from what I thought it, it would be. I love that, that's cool. All right, um, anything else? Oh yeah, there's another set below it. That's awesome, okay, I'm excited about these. did not care for them at all. I I don't know, I just didn't like them and after just playing with them and like getting used to them, I really started to enjoy them and I've actually, I would pick out colors that I like and probably get these again if I can. There's some really cool colors in here. But the old, like they're great, but they don't mix well with wet materials so I tried mixing it with wash and it kind of bled so that's just kind of the downside of it uh, other than that they're great I use them in the sketch pad that they sent me or mixed media pad uh, probably not the best paper for them because it looks like it kind of tore it up once I started like layering it and adding to it but yeah great pins I love them. I'll definitely use them for probably sketchbooks and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the mixed media pad goes, I mean, yeah, it's a good standard paper. I didn't really get to work a lot with it, uh, so I definitely want to try my watercolors in here later. But yeah, guys, that's my art supplies that I got. 
and uh, you know, go go check out Arteza. I'll link their website down below, and maybe you can find some cool stuff and experiment a little. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.